If you haven't voted, go vote. It's terribly important. Just because there's a swell of excitement for Kamala Harris, do not let that fool you into not voting. Remember, when, when Bernie was up there speaking, he had all this momentum and excitement. Little Bernie came up and landed on his podium. We, everybody knew, even us atheists was going, oh goodness, God wants Bernie to be the new president. And then shunk, got yanked right out from under him. We were all disappointed. We got saddled up with four years of Trump. Do not let that happen again. Go vote. Protest votes are bad. Not, not voting in protest hurts you. Go vote, okay? Unless you're pro-Trump and you want to live under Trump's rule, then even if you haven't been sold on Harris, because I mean, clearly our con look how we've been doing. It's, it's not that bad. Our con our country's doing great, lots of good ways. Even if you disagree with a lot of things, we're doing, doing really good. And when you look at like the the dumpster fire that our country had become, the body bags, the you know toilet paper, the the Donald Trump denying science, Donald Trump getting the cooties and flying around with his helicopter and taking his mask. You know, if you want to live under all that again, then vote Trump. But if you don't, then really the only option is to not withhold your vote. Because here's why, here's why. Back in the last election, or before, in the last Trump election, whenever he, uh, he beat Hillary Clinton, allegedly, if I remember right, Hillary said something about she didn't need the progressives. I think she was talking about like the Jill Stein people, but whatever. And there were quite a few people that were like, oh, you don't need our vote? Well, okay, and we're going to hold our vote. And I'm not really sure about the numbers, but I could be wrong. I think the numbers of votes that she potentially lost from that could have given her the election. And ouch, darn, she learned her lesson, didn't she? Didn't she learn her lesson? Damn, bad Hillary. But Hillary's like a zillionaire living off in some country club in some place and doing something. I mean, I don't left, left wing, right wing. I don't care. They're all zillionaires compared to us, right? So it didn't hurt her at all, but it did hurt progressives. It hurt progressives for years to come. For years to come, people who had progressive mentalities or issues that they were fighting for were under Donald Trump's thumb as he tried to remove all the riots or do as much harm to these people as he could. Yes, they will have withheld their vote. And they showed Hillary Clinton. But what? But who did it hurt? It hurt them. It hurt thousands, of, tens and hundreds of thousands of people who died under Donald Trump's rule because he denied the science of the cooties and did not set the government into action and did not do what he needed to do. Matter of fact, went so far as to corrupt the website for the Centers of Disease Control to downplay the, the nature of the virus. How many people died just on that one notion alone. Now, I'm not blaming the progressives necessarily. It's not their fault. Why should they give their vote away, right? Well, now that's kind of why. I mean, it's not. Sometimes it is the lesser of two evils. And there are some people who come on, they're like, my God, this, I'm, I'm, I'm like, well, who are you voting for? Who are you mad at? And they're like, I'm mad at, at, at Kamala Harris and Biden because they haven't done enough for this group or that group or this group completely ignoring the fact that Donald Trump did nothing for any of those groups and would actively harm those groups. But, but no, she won't help them enough or in the way that they want. And that kind of frustrates me, you know? So that kind of protest vote doesn't really go around here. I think that's, that, I don't think that makes a lot of sense. I'm going to catch up with the chat and find out how wrong I was. <laughs> uh, Richard Madsen says, am, I am not even sure that progressive ideas are indeed actually progressive. It's almost impossible for me to see a picture that large. Those 30,000 potential views are not promoted by, you know, it's just, that, you know, I don't know how they, how they view their, their idea of progressive and who took offense to it and who didn't. I'm using that as an example of where the protest vote gets you, you know? That's, that's kind of where the protests get you. It brings me back to these, those two, uh, two of my favorite examples. One of them I came up with is you've got a car over here. The car's got a squeaky window. Um, it's kind of squeaks. This our car over here is literally on fire. It's on fire. The wheels are melting. The mirrors are melting. It's covered in feces, flaming feces. And you're like, S I don't know, man. That's, that's a squeaky window. <laughs> Can you tell me more about the window? Can we maybe get some WD-40 on that? Or that That's what's going on. That's what's happening. Uh, my other more favorite example, I, st I stole this from somebody. I don't remember exactly all the details. So I kind of, I, I may have come up with half of it. I don't know. I don't know, but it's a good one. It's a good one. Over here, you've got a ham sandwich. 
And the problem is, is that they've used spicy mustard instead of regular mustard. And you're like, I don't know. I don't know. They're not going to like work on the trans rights the way I want them to work on it. Or they're not going to work on um, gay and lesbian rights the way I want, you know, that spicy ham. I don't know. You know, it's just mm, that spicy mustard. I'm not talking about, I don't try to single out the, the trans community or the, or the uh, gay and lesbian community. You know what I'm talking about. Anybody out there who's going to withhold their vote because Kamala Harris isn't addressing their particular issues good enough. That's the problem. I got the ice to spicy ham over, or spicy mustard over here. Now on this side, you've got Donald Trump and it's like a sandwich. It's like a shit sandwich. It's real feces. Like, you know, I don't want to say, you know, diarrhea kind of, you know, it's not the good stuff. It's got glass in it and all kinds of things. It's mixed up and there's like, you know, all kinds of just the most disgusting things in there. And it's, you know, it's just disgusting and horrible flies all over it. And you're looking at that ham sandwich and you're going, mm. and you know, those are your options. Those are your only two. Anything you choose besides the ham sandwich get you the shit sandwich. If you choose not to eat the ham sandwich, you get the shit sandwich. That's all you get and you have to eat it. If you choose any other little sandwich around the shit sandwich or around the ham sandwich, you know, the the, the too spicy. So if you take take the Jill Stein or the third party green party sandwich because you're trying to, you know, you don't want to take that sandwich because the spices aren't right, you're still getting the shit sandwich. So I don't know if you guys who are thinking of or considering a protest vote or to protest not vote but that's my opinion on it and i think i've reasoned it out fairly well and i can use the progressives from the last election hillary versus trump to to bolster my argument that if you withhold that protest vote it will hurt you it won't hurt the candidate you're trying so much as it'll hurt you that's my thinking